In this lesson, the target states, I can solve problems involving percent of change. So we're dealing with percents in this chapter. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at percent of change in different scenarios. The percent of change is the amount stated as a percentage that a number increases or decreases. So you could either have a percent of increase or you could have a situation where the per there's a percent of decrease. Percent of change can be calculated by finding the amount of change and putting that over the original amount and then multiplying it by 100. To turn it into a percent, you multiply it by 100 or move the decimal point to the right two places. An item originally cost $25 and you paid $20. What was the percent of change? 25 is decreased to 20. So this is a problem that is involving a percent decrease. So we find, using the formula, the amount of change, and we make a ratio, the amount of change over the original amount, And we multiply that by 100 to turn it into a percent. So let's fill in the parts. To find the amount of change, I'm going to subtract. I'm going to find the difference between the original amount and the new amount. So to find the amount of change, I'm going to do 25 minus 20 over the original amount of 25. If I do the subtraction, I get 5 over 25. 5 over 25 can be reduced to 1 fifth and 1 fifth is 0 0.2. So 0 0.2 times 100 to turn it into a percent, 0 0.2, the decimal is going to move two places to the right, I have to fill in the swoop, is 20 percent. So let's go back to the original, the original question. What was the percent of change? The percent of change was 20%. It was a 20% decrease. Let's try one more example. Let's say the price of an item went up from $20 to $30. What was the percent of change? Well, as you can see, this is a percent increase. Given the word up, the price went up. So if we find the amount of change. The amount of change is the new price minus the original price over the original price of twenty dollars. So the difference between the new price and the old price is ten dollars. The original price is twenty dollars. Ten over twenty can be reduced to one half, which is zero point five, and we usually know this percentage, one half of something, one half of something is what percentage of it, or zero point five times one hundred. Move the decimal point two places to the right, fill in the swoop, the percent of change was fifty percent, and that's a fifty percent increase. So when you're solving these word problems, it's really important you pay attention to the wording in the problem because you need to decide if it's an increase or a decrease. And if it's a 50% increase and you just put 50%, you wouldn't be showing you understand the scenario. So the answer to this question would be a 50% increase. For our last example, let's try a problem that you probably will end up doing pretty often in your life. Say a skateboard sells for $55. And it's on sale for 20% off. If you ever go shopping or are going to buy something, it could be on sale and you might have to figure out the new price. That's called the sale price. If it's $55 and it's 20% off, what would be the sale price of this skateboard? Well, there's two ways to solve this problem. Well, there are many ways to solve this problem, and I'm going to show you two. First, let's remember that 20%, 20% is not 20. The percent symbol means something. It changes the actual number. 20% means 20 out of 100, because percent means out of 100. 
or that can also be written as 0 0.2. If I move the decimal in 20% back two places to con convert it back to a decimal, it's 0 0.2. So I have a few ways to solve this problem. So I want to know what 20% of $55 is, because that's how much money I'm going to save. And if I subtract that amount from $55, I would know the sale price. So if I want to find out what 20% of $55 is, I'm going to multiply, because of means times. Only I'm not going to multiply 20 times 55, because 20% is not 20. So I have two choices. 2100 times 55. So it would be 20 times 55 divided by 100 if I multiply across. That'd give me my percent off, and I could use that to find the new sale price. Or 20% is 0 0.2, and I could do 0 0.2 times 55 to find the amount of the discount. And that's going to be easier to do on paper. 2 times 5 is 10, carry the 1. 2 times 5 is 10, plus 1 is 11. Bring down the decimal. So I'm going to save $11. So to find the sale price, I would do $55 minus $11 to get $44. So the sale price is $44. That's how much I'm going to pay if it's 20% off. Remember, you need a dollar symbol or words the sale price would be $44, or the sale price would be 44 Units will tell us you understand what the problem was. Let's take a look at another way to do this. This circle graph might help. If this circle graph represents the entire skateboard, so this circle graph represents the $55 price of the skateboard, only I don't have to pay for the whole skateboard. I'm not going to pay for this sliver of the skateboard. So I found out what that sliver of the skateboard was. It was $11, right here. And I subtracted it from 55 to find the sale price. So if I'm not going to pay for 20% of the skateboard, then how much of the skateboard am I going to pay for? I'm going to pay for 80% of the skateboard. I'm not paying for 20% of it, so I'm paying for 80% of it. So another good way to find sale price of an item is to multiply the price of the item by the amount you actually have to pay for. If something's 20% off, I'm going to pay for 80% of it. If I do 80% times 55, 0 0.8 times 55, I can work this out over here, it will give me the price of the item, the new price of the item, after the discount. 8 times 5 is 40, carry the 4. 8 times 5 is 40, plus 4 is 44. Bring down the 0, so I got 44. So the price of the item after the discount is $44. That's what I got before, only there's a little less work involved. So a good strategy to find the sale price of an item is to figure out how much of the item you're paying for and multiply that price of the item by that percentage. Maybe you can try that in one of the sample problems that are coming up next. So you try these three problems. Click pause and try them out in your notebook. When you're ready to see the answers, click play to check your answers. Good luck. Okay, now that you've had a chance to do these three problems, let's go over them really quickly and check your work and see how you did. Number one, 10 is decreased to 7. Find the percent change. So to find the percent change, we find the amount of change over the original amount. 10 minus 7 is 3 over 10. 3 tenths. If I want to convert this into a percent, I could multiply the denominator and the numerator by 10 to make it so it's out of 100 is 30 one hundredths. 30 one hundredths, also known as 30 percent. So this is a 30 percent decrease.
So you would need the word decrease to represent the fact that it's a change, that's a, a decrease. 3 tenths you might have also known as 0 0.3 if you have that decimal memorized for that fraction. And 0 0.3 could be turned into 30% with two swoops to the right or multiplying it by 100. But number one is 30% decrease. Number two, 25 is increased to 45. Find the percent change. So the amount of change, the difference between 45 and 25 over the original amount of 25, 45 minus 25 is 20. 20 over 25. I can reduce this and convert it to a decimal. Or, since I want to turn this into a percent of change, I see that I could multiply 25 times 4 to make it 100. So if I multiply 20 times 4 as well, I get 80 over 100. A number written out of 100 is written, could be written as a percent pretty easily because a percent means out of 100. So number 2, it was an 80% increase. Number three, a coat that costs $120 is 25% off. What is the sale price? So I need to find what amount of discount I get. If it costs $120 and I don't have to pay for 25% of it, I need to find out how much that discount is. So we'll do it that way. I need to find out what 25% of 120 is. Of is times... 25% is 0 0.25, so I have to do 0 0.25 times 120, and I have to subtract that from 120. So it's the original price of the item minus 25% of the item. So 120 times 0 0.25, 5 times 0 is 0, 5 times 2 is 10, carry the 1, 5 times 1 is 5, plus 1 is 6. Got a placeholder. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 2 is 4. And 2 times 1 is 2. I'm going to add 0, 0, 0. 4 plus 6 is 10, so I have a 1 to carry. So 30. 3,000 is my answer. No, I need to go back to my decimal points. I have to move the decimal in two places which puts the decimal there. So my discount is $30. 25% of $120 is $30. So 120 minus 30 equals 90. So the sale price of this item would be $90. So how'd you do? Did you get all three problems correct? Because if you did, that's pretty great work.